Good morning. Janet Gonzalez here showing you day five after chemotherapy. This is my fifth day after chemo. I'm actually feeling pretty good today. Seems like like the heaviest of the effects. They're pretty worn off. I first need to drink glass of water because I haven't done any water yet today. Oh, and you know what else I want to do? I need to drink glass of water though. I do Hawapanapanu. It hasn't really been that sunny out around here lately. It's raining and gray, so we have unsunned water. <laughs> it's water in a blue bottle, but the sun hasn't been on it. But it's okay, I just put all these bottles on the counter. So you guys got plenty of time to drink up with me because I'm not... I finally, actually yesterday, yes I did, I found the pause button, so if I like have to go get something and come back, I can hit the pause button so you guys don't have to just sit there and look at my kitchen. I'm trying to figure out how to use the computer. I'm not really that great with using the computer, but I did find the pause button yesterday when my son was putting his little pink patch in my hair. I accidentally hit it, and I was like, oh my gosh, George, I got that video too. I'll put this on there. It's just one of the things that we do. My son put a streak in my hair. He said one of his girlfriends taught him how to do it. So anyway, you got time to pour a glass of water and then just drink it with me. Okay, so this is a program so that you can spend at least one hour on yourself because when you're going through this process, Seriously, if you stand in your kitchen for one hour, that's part of your workout program. Just being up on your feet, moving around, get those hands moving. Sometimes, I don't know, I don't do it here, but I rock on my feet a little bit. You know, get your balance going. Keep your brain trained. Here you go, have a glass of water. Clarence, what are you crying about? Huh? You gonna go outside? Okay, you don't gotta go outside. And there we go, we used the pause button. <laughs> Better than me having to go let the dogs outside while you're paying attention. Okay, that's one glass of water. And one bottle of water. And my little Hwapanapano means I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Amen. Sometimes I'm probably a little harsh. Maybe a little offensive. Not trying to be mean. I just really want you guys to understand that you have to take care of yourself. You can't depend on everybody else all the time. Our health is our responsibility. We need to take responsibility for it. We need to be proud of the fact that we've taken responsibility for our own health. We know better than anybody else what our body needs. If you don't know, just ask. You know, it's like, you know, Lord, just please tell me the truth about this situation. Like, what do I need? And listen. Take a minute and listen. He will tell you, you need some water. Okay, hang on. I got to go let the dogs in. So I keep these little tiny treats on the counter. So if the dogs get pestering me, I hope I don't ever pick them up and take them down as one of my pills. But just give them these little tiny treats so that they uh, behave themselves while I talk to you. So today I gotta take my spark because I don't know how to live life without spark. Spark is all the vitamins that you need to properly coat your mind so that <laughs> to properly coat your mind. So you can tell I haven't had my spark. I'm gonna drink some of this water because I want it to be a little bit stronger flavor. I get the water stirring, pour it in there.
Got my little AvoCare mixer. Got my spark. This is green apple spark. I don't even think that they make this anymore. This is like one of my stashes. <laughs> I have a spark stash. So yeah, this was one of my stashes that now I ran out of my canisters. I got one at work. I took it all of it to work. Gave one away thinking that I had another one. So now I'm into my stash. My stash is spark. Here you get spark from Anvil Care. I don't know how I can do this better without holding up these signs, but there must be a way, right? I probably need to do an interactive video with somebody to teach me how to do this better. This is a website to get your spark. Spark is all the vitamins that you need to properly coat your nerves so that your mind can make good transmissions. This is the website, I'm pretty sure, yep. You can go to AdvoCare and get, you need an ID number to become a member, you know, so use that ID number. It's my ID number, but then you get your own ID number and you don't need to sell the stuff. But if you just take the product, you will feel so much better. This is an energy drink. They call it an energy drink. I call it saving my nerves from getting neuropathy drink. I really have taken this the entire time that I've done chemotherapy. I have no neuropathy. You can see my fingers. Keep my fingernails short because we do raindrop therapies. So and when I do a raindrop therapy, I don't want to have like my beautiful nails. i got to cut them off. So I just keep cutting them off so that they're just short and they're not like emotionally attached <laughs> drink your spark today what are we thinking about today i haven't shown you a couple of these products from young living one of the things that i really need to do is for some reason, I didn't set my stuff over here, so I got to go get my probiotics. All right, so one of the products that also that I take from Anvil Care because some people are got the sugar thing going on. Close that. It's a distraction. As um, Crave Check. So Crave Check will kind of get your cravings under control, especially if you're craving sugar, and you will be craving sugar if you have yeast growing, if you got candida growing, if you got cancer growing, it's not necessarily you, the person who wants to eat the sugar, it's the infection that wants to eat the sugar. So you'll get these cravings because they're in there demanding to get some sugar. So then you don't know any better, so you just eat the sugar. So Crave Check is one of the products that will help you with that. So I do take a couple Crave Checks every morning when I'm at home. I don't have these over at my friend's house. But Crave Check in the morning. Take this before you eat. And you might not notice any like dramatic effects from Crave Check. But, you know, if you just start cutting back on sugar, this will help you like mentally cut back on sugar. And really, we're trying, trying, trying very hard to starve this cancer that's growing in your system and don't ever call it I think sometimes I call it my chemo day because that is my chemo day but I don't call it the M-Y-C-A-N-C-E-R I don't use the word my in front of it because it is not mine somehow it took up residence doesn't belong here gotta get kicked out gotta go, doesn't belong to me, ain't mine, not claiming it. In Jesus' name, I am not claiming that. I will not receive that. You just like, one old lady taught me that she was like 80 years old. One day I was saying something to her and she was like, I will not receive that. And I was like, well, you know, my sister called me a carrier because I never used to catch colds and stuff, but people around me would be sick. She's like, oh, well, that's because you're just a carrier, you know. And so I was talking to this older woman. She said that she had practically never gets sick any either. And then I was like, oh, well, you're probably a carrier like me because I thought I was a carrier. And that lady told me, she was like, I will not receive that. 
That's all she said. She wasn't mean about her or anything. And I, then I repeated myself. She said, I will not receive that. And that was the biggest lesson of that whole entire Bible study that I learned is that when people say something to you, you do not have to receive it. You just pop it at the hand. Probiotics. This one here is from um, the North Shore Infusion Center. This is the Block Center. This is Dr. Block's probiotic. There's several different kinds of probiotics. It I think that it probably does matter. He's only got like six, two, four, six different kinds of um, biotics in here. And AbbleCare has added other things to theirs because this is Probiotic Restore. They have they have a few different biotics in this one than they got in this one. Just look it up and check the labels. I don't know that you can actually look this one up. This is made for Keith I Block MD. So his products, I don't know that you can necessarily find them online. I've never seen them online. I just buy them at his clinic when I go for chemo. And then I'm just going to take one of each. Leave nothing to chance. <laughs> Just take one of each, and I also have another probiotic that has a lot more probiotics in it, but it's just not on the counter. I'm not going to go get it. So, here we go. Bottoms up. I actually drank my spark before I took my supplements today. I was anxious to get the spark. I guess I wake up feeling better in the mornings, and I start wanting to drink my spark right away before I drink a bunch of water. So I'm going to read to you because today I have this Dr. Schultz kidney detox. I think that we should set a date on this so that if you want to actually do it the same time that I'm doing this, maybe I'll start and you start the next day so that every day I can get this uploaded on the program, what you need to be doing to be prepared for his five-day kidney detox. So first thing you need to do is buy one, get it in your house, start reading the book. He's got a little book that comes in there. I will read to you out of the front of his book that comes out of that box. All right. He says he has a warning in here. It's Dr. Schultz five day kidney detox. He has to give you a warning because that's the way it is in the United States. You have to give warnings to people about if you're doing anything that's natural healing, that's not legal actually, it sounds like. They make it seem like it's not legal. <laughs> kind of goofy. So warning, this book is published under the first amendment of the United States Constitution which grants the right to discuss openly and freely all matters of public concern and how to express viewpoints no matter how controversial or unaccepted they may be. However, medical groups and pharmaceutical companies have finally infiltrated and violated our sacred constitution. Therefore, we are forced to give you the following warnings. If you are ill or have been diagnosed with any disease, please consult a medical doctor before attempting any natural healing program. Many foods, herbs, or other natural substances can occasionally have dangerous allergic reactions or side effects in some people. People have even died from allergic reactions to peanuts and strawberries. Any one of the programs in this book could potentially be dangerous, even lethal especially if you are seriously ill. Therefore, any natural method you learn about in this book may cause harm. Instead of the benefit you seek, ask your doctor first. Big all capital letters. Ask your doctor first. But remember that the vast majority of doctors have no education in natural healing methods and herbal medicine. They will probably discourage you from trying any of these programs. I choose to do all these things. It's my own choice. 
I do go to the Block Medical Center with Dr. Block, and he also happens to be a doctor who is an ingre he agrees that you should be taking supplements. He even has supplements with his name on them, like the one that I just showed you. He has Dr. Keith Block written right on here. Formulated with exclusive, um, see it's so teeny tiny. It says formulated with exclusive standard for Keith I Block MD. Dr. Block is my doctor. He has things formulated exclusively for him. He believes in natural cures. He has to offer you chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery because that must be the law in the United States. Taking responsibility for yourself, for your own health, that's our choice. We still can make a choice for ourselves. They had that case on TV where a girl was 17 and a half years old. She didn't want to do chemotherapy. And her parents said she didn't want to do it. And they were like, oh, no, she's going to do it. So, if you know, you're really strong-minded about not wanting to do chemotherapy. You would probably have, if you're a minor or you're the parent of a minor, you would probably have to sneak her out of the country to get her taken care of naturally. So, anyway probiotics. That's one of the products that Dr. Keith Block has, and this is the warning that Dr. Schultz gives in his book, first page. He has to warn you because that's what he, you know, if he didn't, then I guess he, they would just hang him by the neck and we wouldn't be able to have any of these products. Okay, so anyway, he has in here in his five-day kidney program that comes in this box. I'll show you what comes in this box. The book that I just read out of. This is the kidney detox. This is what I think that is really critical, maybe even more maybe so than a liver detox, is to get your kidneys cleaned up. Sometimes they get a little packed up and then they can't filter your blood so well. So we want to clean those kidneys out. Inside of the box, he's got his tea which is a really rough tea and really today the reason why I pulled out this box is because I'm feeling like I would like to have a drink of this tea. So how you make Dr. Schultz tea is not how I'm about to make it right now. What you need to do is take six tablespoons of this tea, put it in a distilled pan, a glass, not a distilled pan, distilled water, 20 ounces of distilled water. Put it either in glass, stainless steel, or ceramic. Do not use aluminum. Okay, if you don't have a good stainless steel pan and you can't get out of the house, I think that you could probably soak it overnight in a canning jar or a jar that you got something like a spaghetti jar, you know, like one of these mason jars. I would soak it overnight in a mason jar. Just don't soak it overnight in aluminum because you're going to suck that aluminum probably out into the tea. The tea will absorb things. So it's going to absorb possibly aluminum out of our system. So it's going to absorb toxins out of our system. It's going to clean our kidneys. So if you're going to soak it overnight and you don't have anything but aluminum pans, put it in a jar. So right now, well, I'm going to go all against what I just said. I'm not going to soak it. I just woke up wanting a cup of this tea. He's got little branches in there. He believes in using the actual whole plant because every part of a plant has something about it that's good for you. So I'm going to just take some of this tea and put it in my thing. See, I mean, these little wood chips or whatever these little chips are, they need to be soaked overnight so that they can soften up so that when you boil them in the morning, you get the best out of this. So I'm only going to put a little bit in here because I don't want to waste too much because this isn't the right way to make it. I'm making it in my thing. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make it in the, the teapot. Or not the teapot. It's like a Keurig. Keurig, one of those coffee pots. 
Okay, so I got that tea brewing over there. I think I do anyway. I was struggling with this for a second. So the kidney bit bladder tea, this is the ingredients that are in this tea. Juniper berry, uva, urshi leaf, parsley root, golden root herb, hydrangea root, gravel root, orange peel, peppermint leaf, corn silk, horsetail herb, and marshmallow root. It says to do this, put two tablespoons of herbs and 20 ounces of distilled water. Oh, I said six. I must make it like 10 times as strong. Let it soak overnight. In the morning, bring it to a boil and let it simmer for one minute. Strain and drink the warm. Drink it warm. If you are drinking more than drinking more tea tomorrow, do not discard the used herbs. Put the herbs back into the pot and add one tablespoon of fresh herbs and 20 ounces of distilled water. Let it sit overnight and repeat the whole process. Use the herbs last up to three days. So you don't take that and throw it away. You just add another, see I used the six tablespoons, probably got that from the incurables program because I was really super sick. I had stage four cancer in my breast, in my lymph nodes, it was all spread in my bones. So when I did the incurables program, I was really, really sick. So I, I don't know where I get the six tablespoons from. It might be in that program or it just might be because I did not want to die. Um, so anyway, two tablespoons, soak it overnight. Next day, leave those two tablespoons in the pot, add another tablespoon to it. Soak it overnight, always in 20 ounces, 20 ounces, and then for three days. On the third day, you add your, your other tablespoon, and then you throw it out. So maybe it's a total of six tablespoons, but you can get quite a few tablespoons out of this package. You don't want to leave it sitting around too long because, you know, like little bugs will start coming out of it because it is all organic and there are eggs in there and same thing with your flour or your oatmeal or your cornmeal or anything else that you've ever let sitting in your cabinet forever so one time I seen like little tiny holes in the bottom of the bag because I just let this bag sitting around forever and I drink it anyway I'm like whatever I'm gonna boil them babies and I'm gonna drink them so I drink it anyway <laughs> Might not be what you want to do, but I didn't really care at the point in time that I was at. And here there's detox formula. There is kidney bladder formula. And a wonderful bottle of cayenne pepper tincture. This is how you could get your cayenne pepper tincture to do your cayenne pepper tincture shot. These, you got to know the technique. Maybe I should do just one short video on cayenne pepper tincture, how to do the shot, and just upload that all by itself because taking a cayenne pepper tincture shot, this is something else. You can add this to your drinks, but it would just be very, very hard to sip on this. It's 250,000 heat units. It's not just cayenne pepper. It's Japanese peppers, Chinese peppers, habanero peppers. Like every smoking hot pepper on the planet, I think, is in this tincture. And I call them tinctures because they come in little bottles. It might be some word that I got when I was a little kid. They used to call things tinctures. I don't know if that's what they still call them today. But it seems like a good word. All right, so this is the detox. These are things that you're going to be adding to your teas, drinking on the side, cleaning up your kidneys. So you guys, if you want to do this kidney detox, I'll go ahead, get myself prepared. You know, there's things that I got to do to be prepared to do this. I'll get my juicer out because you really want to stay kind of on a liquid diet. You don't want to be bogging your food down, you know, your belly down with food. So it says upon rising, coming straight from Dr. Schultz, I really feel like I got this guy memorized. <laughs> Step one, upon rising, drink eight ounces of distilled or purified water. Prepare and drink the kidney bladder flush. See the back panel. Fifteen minutes later, after drinking your kidney bladder flush, drink two cups of kidney bladder tea. See the back panel. Put two dropperfuls of kidney bladder formula in each cup of the tea. 
or have the tonic separately and an ounce of juice. Finally, three droppers full of detox formula. This formula is very strong tasting. So he says to put it in a little bit of grape juice, but I say why ruin the flavor of a great grape juice? Just put it in a little bit of water, take it as a shot, then chase it with the grape juice. That's my, I just cannot spoil the entire, or else give myself the idea that I don't like grape juice anymore for some reason, and it's because I've been putting detox formula in it and making it, it just does not taste that great, no matter what you mix it in. So you might as well just take it straight. So then you can have some superfood plus. I, you know, I know that I have some around here, but it's in my other cabinet. I haven't been drinking the Superfood Plus lately, so repeat the dosage, repeat the dosage. And that's, this is the beginner's program. So if you are like the advanced program, same as the beginners, you do the same thing, advanced food and drink program. If you want to get the absolute most out of this detox, that you possibly can and turn around any dysfunction in your kidneys, bladder, or urinary tract, follow the food program that he instructs you to follow. It says one day of raw food, day two, juice flush, day five, raw food. It says that, you know, following the intermediate food and drink guidelines, plus do not consume any food this morning. You are drinking, and I almost feel like every video that I have, made is the advanced you know way of doing this because you don't consume solids so it says that do not consume any food this morning you are drinking a lot of liquids in the morning water your kidney flush drink tea tonic superfood plus nutritional drink so you will be full but in the afternoon keep drinking for lunch, you can have fresh raw vegetable juices, raw vegetables alone or in salads, sprouts, and prote potassium broth. And the potassium broth, if you're doing juicing, you can take some of those peels and put them in some distilled water and make some potassium broth. So some of those peelings have potassium in them. Potato peelings, you'd probably want it. you got to get organic potatoes. And then use the peelings to make some potassium broth. You may use dressing for your salads and vegetables if you like using olive oil, avocado, raw apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, garlic, onions, and herbs and spices. After 6 p.m. drink only diluted fruit juices, smoothies, pure water, herbal teas, and eat fruit salads. Exercise daily for one hour. So for some of you, just standing up and doing this program for one hour, that's exercise enough. When I was in the midst of the harshest part of chemotherapy, the last thing I wanted to do was jump on a treadmill. I felt like, you know, just walking around the house was doing me in. So I really did not, I mean, this is only me, doesn't have to be you, exercise. It means get in motion. If you can't run, jump, jump on a treadmill, just don't sit still. You know, like just open and close your hands. Do deep breathing. Stand up straight. Just standing up straight alone. Put your shoulders back. Hold your stomach in. Tighten up your legs. Just stand up straight. Use your muscles. Whatever good muscles that you have to use. Just get them functioning. You know, like just don't let yourself gel. Don't gel out. You got Catalyst is one of the products that I showed you. I don't have it here. It's over at my friend's house. So that one I haven't done here. L-glutamine that helps grow all your cells back. You want to be drinking that every single day. You have to mix it in a little bit of hot water. Not smoking hot, but it doesn't really dissolve. And I would show you the container for my L-glutamine, but I gave half of my L-glutamine away. I gave them the container so that they could have the label. I suppose I could write on this jar that this is L-glutamine. So in case you can't understand what I'm saying, I'll do that. Okay.
So I wrote this on the jar, what's in the jar. It's L-glutamine. I forget that. You know, we don't think that we have an accent, but well, I'm pretty sure we have an accent to other people. So I wrote this on the bottle in case you can't understand what I'm trying to say is L-glutamine. This is the one that helps your cells grow back really fast. It'll help the lining of your mouth heal, the palms of your hands, the whole digestive tract, your intestinal tract, the bottoms of your feet, your hair. You know, everything that grows fast, that's what L-glutamine will help grow back. So this is a mouthwash, but you know what I do is I make them, I rinse my mouth with it. And I have a really hard time swallowing things that I rinse my mouth with, so I just spit it out. So you can put a little bit in water, rinse your mouth, spit it out, but then drink another batch of it. Just drink it because it will heal everything. It's not just for your mouth. I know that sometimes they will say that here's a mouth rinse or here's something to lubricate your mouth. Well, I really don't just need something to lubricate my mouth. I need something to heal my mouth because your mouth gets really messed up doing chemotherapy. If you need to lubricate your mouth, Get some coconut oil. You know, I mean, just have this on hand and put a little bit of this in your mouth. You can take a, like a little half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of this in the morning. They call it pulling. You just swish your mouth for 20 minutes. It pulls toxins out. Spit it out. Do not drink that. That's full of toxins. Do not swish it for longer than 20 minutes. If it feels like it fills up with toxins faster, then just spit it out and get a fresh teaspoon and do it again. But just don't let that reabsorb. Don't do it too long and use it to moisten your mouth, your lips, your face, your hands. You can put coconut oil all over you. You can put olive oil all over you. If your mouth is dry, you could do a shot of olive oil. Drink that. Let that coat your mouth. Some of the stuff that they give you to coat your mouth, I guess it's okay. But it, it's not necessarily healing your mouth. You're like, this will heal your mouth. It's going to get in there and it does good things. It pulls the toxins out that are destroying your mouth. You know how your tongue is all coated in the morning. That's because toxins release out of your tongue. So you want to keep that tongue clean. Keep your teeth clean. Floss your teeth. All that stuff that gets in between your teeth and starts rotting, you know, that's just bad bacteria. You don't want any bad bacteria. You're trying to eliminate it. So floss your teeth, brush your teeth, clean your dentures, rinse the inside of your mouth, especially or first thing in the morning. Just take care of yourself. You're important. You matter in the world. People love you. There's people that you love. Make a decision. Do I want to be here or don't I? You know, it's like once you make that decision that you want to stay here, then you need to manage that decision. How you manage that decision is a lifestyle change. How did I get sick? It was my lifestyle. Or perhaps you came in contact with some really bad stuff, but you got to get it out of your system regardless. So to get it out of your system, you need a lifestyle change. So today we have some longevity Anything that says longevity, anti-aging, I'm all about it. <laughs> this one is from Young Living. Young Living is where I get my oils. Today I am diffusing some thieves. Thieves is some really good oil for killing some bacteria. It's good for your health. You can put thieves in your mouth. It's a blend. It has cloves. Cloves are so amazing. The simplest oils that we have in our kitchen that we've been cooking with for our entire life, cloves, thyme, cinnamon, lemon, lime, orange, they make some of the best smelling oils and tasting oils to put in your tea into the cinnamon oil. I like putting that in a glass of water and stirring it, and then you get these little tiny oil droplets dispersed in the water and then when you drink it it's like a flavor burst on your tongue so you know when you're doing chemotherapy you really can't taste things that good so that cinnamon it penetrates those dead cells laying on your tongue so 
so that you can get some flavor. But if you do enough of this, if you do your L-glutamine, you shouldn't suffer from that too much. You might have gotten behind the eight ball right now. So do the L-glutamine three, four, five times a day. Don't just make it only a morning routine. Make it an all-day routine. If you got sores on the palms of your hands, if you got sores coming up on your skin, it's because your cells are dying, 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 and they're not growing fast enough to replace all the dead ones that fell off, and now you have a sore. So you need to get them growing back. My palms have never had a sore on them. I had good instructions from the beginning of my chemotherapy. I never was left to have sores or neuropathy or sores in my mouth or the bleeding in my stomach. Longevity. This is from Young Living. I take this because it says longevity. <laughs> I'm sure it has all kinds of great things about it, but it says longevity, so I take it. Omega Gize. This is omega 3s. You need omega 3s in your diet. We got lots of omega 6s. We don't have enough omega 3s. So I distrust Young Living's products, so I do not hesitate to take their omega 3s. I also take omega 3s from AdvoCare. These omega 3s look more like krill oil. So they have all their good oils in these products. This one here, they came out of the refrigerator, so you can see it's a little like if I warm it up, that will dissolve whatever that is. It kind of gets thick when you have it in the refrigerator. Well, I don't see that I pulled it out over here, but I still have another omega 3 one that I take. From AdvoCare, I take their um, Omega Plex. I think it's called Omega Plex. So, bottoms up. These are nice travel bottles, but they are glass. I'm a little scared to drink out of the bottles, like straight out of the bottle, because when I was a kid and I was drinking out of a pop bottle, because all bottles were made like this when I was a kid, and I was drinking and I was enjoying a Coca-Cola, and my girlfriend spun around and her elbow hit the bottom of that bottle and busted out my tooth, so... I'm just a little wary about drinking out of bottles. So I'm always pouring my water from the bottle into a glass. Then I haven't built up the nerve to travel. Or I do bring one of those with me, but I'm very cautious and conscious when I lift it up because if you go smacking into your teeth, these are very heavy glass. They will crack your tooth out. This is Huapanapano from Hawaii says, thank you, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me. And it's not the order that it says it in, but that's just the order that I read in. So I'm surprised I read that. Thank you, Dr. Schultz, that good. So we made the tea. We talked about your five-day kidney detox. You need to have, if you're doing Herceptin, Herceptin side effect is heart failure. Coenzyme Q10 will keep your heart strong. Take some Coenzyme Q10. My doctor recommends these from the Black Center. I buy them from the Black Center. I think this one here, you could probably get it somewhere else. It's Integrative Therapeutics, UBQH 50 milligrams. Doesn't necessarily just say Dr. Block's name right on the bottle. So possibly you could get this from somewhere else. So CoQ10, Coenzyme Q10, that's the snap for your heart. That's what gives your heart its like the shock or whatever. But it's the Coenzyme Q10. Your body can make Coenzyme Q10, but you gotta have all the right ingredients in there for it to be able to do that. So 
just take some coenzyme Q10, keep your heart strong. You know, we want to have a strong heart. You know, like, love everybody with your heart. It's a good way to strengthen it. Drinking some more water. Mushrooms. Get some mushrooms in your diet. Hi, George. These are ultra rishi mushrooms. Um, these are the king of the mushrooms is my mataki mushrooms. So these I get from the Black Center. Mataki I get from Shoko. I do a lot of different ones like the Black Center doesn't tell me to take mataki mushrooms. I take mataki mushrooms because when I was down in Mexico at the holistic clinic, they put us on mataki mushrooms right away. And then when you read about mushrooms, they'll be like, mataki mushrooms, these are the king of the mushrooms. They're anti-tumoral. Um, who knows what anti-everything that they are. Anti-aging more than likely. Because they eat off all the rotten stuff. So this mataki mushroom doesn't feed the cancer. It kills the cancer. It tastes very sweet. And so that's probably how it gets into the cancer cells because they think like, oh, look at that yummy sugar coming in. So they just suck this mushroom right up and then the mushroom starts killing it. Hmm. It goes under your tongue. I love the taki mushroom. It's like a treat. If you're off of sugar, this is super sweet tasting. So mataki mushrooms, they come from Shoko. Where's my Shoko? Here you go. Shoko's natural products. You can call them up. You can talk to Shoko or you will talk to her husband. You can discuss with them your what you got going on, and they will recommend what mushrooms you should be on. Because every mushroom does something different, so they're not real expensive. Get the one that targets whatever's going on with you first, but then I would say as you can afford it, buy all the other mushrooms. There's no sense in just taking one kind. Because they do all sorts of different things in your body. I haven't had any re allergic reaction to any of the mushrooms that I take from Shoko. I got Tremella mushrooms I take from Shoko. I take Chaga mushrooms from Shoko. I take Mishima mushrooms from Shoko. I'm not a mushroom hunter. Knowing me, I would go under the wrong tree on the north side, should have been on the south side, pick the mushroom and die. So I am not a mushroom hunter. Coriolis, but since we do have people who know their mushrooms and they make these supplements, then so far I've been taking all these mushrooms for a couple years, a few years, and I really don't feel like I've never felt anything like making me sick. I feel very healthy. So those are some of the mushrooms. I probably have more in my cabinet somewhere. Kukar, this, what is this one called? This is from the Black Center. Kukar Essentials. It's cucarium. Cucarium, I think is how you say the word. But if I, you should just look up this word. These are big. I never busted one open, but I have a feeling that they're yellow. It's also like one of the spices that we have in our cabinet 
This one here is a very good for killing cancer cells. Like everything that I take is good for killing cancer cells. That's why I don't know, something's lit up on the screen, it's a little teeny thing, so I'm still on the program, but once upon a time I was glowing on the screen. You know, big sores on my bones, sores in my breast, sore, you know, like cancer in my lymph nodes. So it all came back out. I'm telling you, you maybe not want to just do the drug program only, but start doing a little bit of something. Take a little, like, responsibility for your health. Make some of your own decisions. I'm not telling that you have to do any of this stuff. I'm just showing you that this is what I do. These are all the products that over the time that I have accumulated and take. I don't take every single thing every day. No, that's not possible for me. I just take some things every day. I don't do everything perfect, but I do something. I want to be healthy, so every day to manage that decision, I do something. You know, I do physical labor. I like gardening. We have mass cleanup day in my house because sometimes the house gets a little out of control. That's a workout for me in my mind. After chemo, cleaning house, running the, I don't have a vacuum cleaner because we took all the carpet out of the house. But sweeping the floors, mopping the floors, when you're not feeling good, that's a workout. You know, when people can't understand that you need to sit down, you need to tell them, well, whatever, bug off. Get it yourself. Serve me for a change. You know, sometimes the moms are just such the server in the house that when the shoe gets put on the other foot, they may not serve you perfect the way that you serve them, but just shut up. You know, like, let them serve you the best way that they can because they'll get better and better. My kids are the George is the grill cook. I bought him a flat top grill. That kid can cook on that flat top grill. Courtney is the kitchen cook. Christy is the kitchen. I mean, you know, not that we cook everything. We make a lot of salads. We eat a lot of fruit. But sometimes we cook. You know, sometimes George will cook out on the grill for us or for a mass of people because now he's got this nice big flat top grill. He can make fajitas on the grill. He can make that little skinny skirt steak on the, on the grill. Everything cooks so easy on that grill compared to the one with the gratings. So, anyway, take your cucurium. Shokos, I showed you Shokos, Young Living, Advocare. I'm going to have myself a shake right now. Because now it's been like a half an hour. I should bust out the ninja because most of the time I'm always making my shakes in the ninja. For simplicity, I've been making them just with my little stir and not adding seeds and nuts and everything to them that I usually have in mind. Because depending on your condition, simpler is better for you. So today in my shake, we'll just put some albutamine in there. You know, I'm shaking that out of the bottle, but should be you should measure it. You know, the, the scooper bottle for all glutamine, I don't know if it's even in here. I probably gave it to the lady that I gave some glutamine to. So all glutamine is expensive. When you buy a nice good brand of all glutamine, I think it costs like $90 for my all glutamine. So... I would buy another canister just to show you the can that it comes in, but until this is gone, I'm not spending $90, sorry. Take some L-glutamine. A half a teaspoon would probably be fine. I would say that if you have no skin in your mouth left, no palms left on your hands, no bottoms left on your feet, bleeding in your intestines, do that, then take this. Do a whole nother teaspoon of it. You know, like load up on some products, you know, give your body a fighting chance. 
You know, so I will show you that tomorrow when I do another video that I'm still alive. And I'm going to do two and a half teaspoons of uh, glutamine right now. So every day that I come back, you know that I made it through taking all these products. I'm a human being. Got regular G DNA and genes just like everybody else. I don't have a lot of allergies because I went to Wellspring Ministry in Alaska where they talk about, they don't just talk about it, they pray about it. They go back into your childhood, all the way back into the womb, and they see where you have pain in your memories. It's very amazing that you all, you can even remember things from before you were born. Maybe it was stories that was told. So I am lucky enough that when I went to Wellspring Ministry, my dad was still alive. And I could call him and talk to him and ask him questions about the things that I was remembering. And he confirmed it. So what you do is like you find pain in the memory. Let me think about something. See if I can find any pain left in any of my memories. <laughs> I don't think so. There's George over there. So bye. I love you, George. So we could actually do like a whole entire session just on locating pain in your memories. There goes clearance. I'm going to just pause this. Okay, so Clarence, he has a little bit of separation anxiety. Whenever anybody leaves, he starts to cry. I think because he's the puppy in the window for too long, and now he's just a little sad when people don't take him with him. So anyway, Clarence, yeah, he was on Clarence. Come here, Clarence. Here you go. <laughs> he always wants a treat, but he doesn't want me to pick him up. All right, so he was a puppy in the window puppy. He was in that window for four or five months or something. I don't know. But by the time I got him, he was already five months old. When we read his papers, he had been there since he was like six weeks old or something, kind of young. So anyway, we got a cheap price on him because he was on Clarence. So we named him Clarence. So he was on Clarence. So we named him Clarence. So that's why his name is Clarence. But he has a little bit of separation anxiety when anybody else goes out the door. So that's probably one of my allergy problems that I had when I was a kid is I had a fear of being abandoned, which I never was abandoned, but occasions in my life made me feel like I was abandoned. So when you go back and you think about your childhood, the first time you ever got the hives, the first time you ever got hay fever, first time you ever broke out from something, what was going on at that time? How many similar incidences happened that was just like that? And then by the third or fourth time that something similar like that happened, your mind has these neurotransmitters that just go running down that trail, reconnecting all these memories, making you feel like you were seriously abandoned. And some of you were seriously abandoned. You don't know. I don't know your story. I only know my story. So what happened is like I prayed about that. When we figured out that I had a fear of being abandoned, I realized that, you know, the truth is if you're looking for the truth in the Lord, that we're never abandoned, that he never leaves us, that he's always with us. We get that feeling, but that feeling doesn't necessarily mean that it's the truth. You know, sometimes we feel like some things, but I'm like, you know, reality, reality is that sometimes I don't feel it. I don't feel the truth. So what I've learned to do is know what the truth is. Just lean on the truth, you know, get your truth. And then until it becomes your reality, you know what I mean? You create the world around you, our thoughts, our words, our actions. You know, I every item that you look around, my house is packed with stuff. I got knickknacks everywhere. Like, I created this world around me that I live in, the pot rack hanging up there, because one of the things that really was making me avoid cooking was I couldn't really get down and crawl in the cabinets anymore. So we got the pot rack and hung all the pots up 
so it's very easy to access. So when we create our world around us based on being abandoned, allergies, that's just kind of what happens. You start getting allergies. Go back into those memories. And it's like, pray about it. You know, I purpose and I choose to forgive myself for feeling abandoned. I was never abandoned. You were always with me because the truth about that is that it's about you and the Lord. You know, the truth about it is we put too much pressure on other people to make us feel joy or make us feel like we belong. Well, we don't really need their approval to know that we belong in the world because we were created to be in this world. We are here because we are specifically designed to be here. We were created long before we were born. The idea of us already existed. So I don't need the neighbor's approval for me to be here or I don't need any of my family's approval for me to be here because I was already approved. So when I cancel Satan's power and authority over me in that issue of being abandoned because I have forgiven myself, then you ask the Lord to heal your mind, heal your heart, and tell you the truth about that. And then he'll tell you another truth. When he tells you another truth, then you can pray about that one. You know, like he might bring up another incident. Like for me, he brought up an incident of when I was left behind my grandma's barn to, trying to catch grasshoppers to go fishing. And I have a big family, and I knew that they were gone, because when you have a big family, you know when they're gone, because they're all gone. <laughs> and so I started getting really anxious so then another time, my mom came back and got me. Whenever I went fishing, I caught the biggest fish. And then another time I was out, because me and my brothers would go out, and we'd hang out all day, and that's what you could do when you were a kid 50 years ago, was just go out in the neighborhood, disappear for the day, and I would just we would just take naps. Like if we got tired, we'd just lay down wherever we were at, in the field, in the grass, and fall asleep. Well, on two different occasions, when I woke up and I looked around, I didn't see my brothers. So the third time that incident happened to me, I was 11 years old. I woke up, I looked around, I couldn't see my brothers. I wasn't far from home, but they came running up. Like within seconds, they were there. But in that short period of time, I was so anxious that I started breaking out in the hives. So I went home. To my mom and my mom was like oh my gosh I was like swollen all over she gave me like a baking soda bath took me to the doctor I think maybe back then they gave me some kind of allergy medicine that calmed it down because we had never seen the hives before and then as I got older I was allergic to the grass I was allergic to, I started adding things to that. I was allergic to the springtime. I couldn't go outside. I, I thought, okay, I could just have my screens. As long as the screens are there, I'm protected from the outside. So I can do that. But as soon as I would step out the door, my eyes would be itching. My ears would be itching. My throat would be itching. I'd start sneezing. My, eye, my nose was running. My eyes would get the hive sometimes. So the springtime, which is such a beautiful time of year around here, I could never enjoy it because I was too busy with the allergies. And I could take allergy medicine, but the allergies were so strong that the allergy medicine would only hold it back to a point. And then going out in the grass, I couldn't go out into the grass. I would get red dots all over my legs that looked like things were biting me. So I couldn't cut the grass. You know, I thought that, okay, so on rainy days, I felt better. So I thought, well, then it's just the pollen in the air. So maybe that's what bothers me. It's the pollen in the air. Then when we would go to Florida and go camping as kids, I never had allergies in Florida. So then it became, I'm allergic to my hometown. I can't even be, as soon as we would drive up the alley of my dad, of our own home, I was like, okay, it's ragweed. It's 
it's whatever. I just kept tagging more and more and more allergies onto it to where I just couldn't even go outside. It got to the point where you need to be drugged up or you're not going out the door. After I prayed about the fear of being abandoned, that spring came, you know, because it was springtime when I was in Alaska. <clears throat> so I came back, it was in May. So then now I'm waiting for the allergies, waiting for the allergies. And I'm like, I'm not getting any allergies. You know, it's kind of weird. You know, like I'm used to like, being really messed up right now like I and then so I kept going outside and, and the allergies never came all them allergies all those fears that I attached to being abandoned they all just left me so I just asked the fear of grass to leave me in the name of Jesus I asked the fear of pollen to leave me in the name of Jesus I asked the fear of ragweed to leave me in the name of Jesus all those things the next spring, that spring, after I came home from Alaska, and you can do all spring online, you don't have to go to Alaska, but I went there. Um, it just wasn't happening anymore. So then when I started, I got cancer after that, <clears throat> or maybe it was already brewing. So when I went to the block center, and I, this is like, you now time has lapsed since then and going to the block center. But the thing that grew my blood back after every single chemo treatment was grass. Wheat grass, barley grass, superfood, which has a lot of grass from Dr. Schultz. Um, Block Center has their own brand of um, turbo greens. Okay, so this is turbo greens from the Block Center. The turbo greens is a simplest food that you could eat to help your blood grow back after chemotherapy treatments. If you one of the side effects of chemotherapy is starvation. So what you don't want to do is have that upset stomach all the time. I showed you to cut up the ginger root, cut up ginger root, make a tea out of it, and drink that tea. That will calm your stomach down at the bottom of the pot, all those chunks of ginger down there that are now softened up from cooking them, eat those chunks if you have to, to calm your stomach down. They're spicy, but in your stomach, they are the most relaxing thing. So turbo greens, superfood from Dr. Schultz, those are the two things that I lived on while I was going through the harshest chemotherapy. I really didn't eat too many solid foods. But if I had not gotten rid of those allergies through prayer, I don't know how well I would have made it because I wouldn't be able to drink the grass. So you have to do a little soul search and you got to look at yourself. You can't look at everybody else around you all the time. You got to look at yourself. You have to take care of yourself. You have to realize what exactly got into you that needs to come out things attached to us along our life. You know, you'll notice that as you cleanse yourself of emotional stuff, you stand up straighter, you smile more often. You can't, you know, you still have your memories and some of those memories just disappear. Some I can't say that I still have all those same memories. But if I search for them in my brain, they're in there. They just don't have any pain in them anymore. When I think about it, I could tell my story. And every once in a while, I could tell that I glitch a little and there is something a little teary-eyed about my story. And that triggers me to know that there's a little work that I need to do there. You know, when you talk about, oh, I was scared that I couldn't, you know, I might not be here to see my kids grow up. Sometimes when I say that, it's like, oh, it's a little heart-wrenching, you know, that it feels like it's it is a miracle it's a miracle that i'm still here to be able to share these things with you so it's an hour long if you've done this for an hour you've taken an hour of time out of 24 hours it's just one hour to focus on yourself to know that you are loved love yourself bless yourself bless your hair bless your skin Bless your arms, bless your hands, bless your nerves, bless your blood, bless your heart. 
Huapanapano. I love you. Thank you. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Amen. Huapanapano.